so next topic is metabolic alkalosis so I'm I'm just uh, gonna focus on uh, just high high yield concept related to metabolic alkalosis so here when we calculate urinary chloride to check whether it is uh, volume responsive or it is not responsive to volume so we calculate urinary chloride if we get less than 10 then we think volume responsive and examples are dehydration diuretics and desuction and uresis if we get urinary chloride greater than 10 so these conditions like hyperaldosteronism barter or Gittelman syndrome they are non-responsive to volume I will repeat calculate urinary chloride if it is less than 10 volume responsive dehydration diuretics use and desuction and uresis so here we uh, these are the conditions which are volume responsive if chloride is greater than 10 urinary chloride these are the conditions where which are non responsive to volume so how to differentiate hyperaldosteronism with barter and Gittelman syndrome so if there is hypertension just think about hyperaldosteronism if there is no any hypertension of course barter and Gittelman syndrome and mnemonic to remember the locations of barter and Gittelman syndrome is barter is like classics it, it is important for the USMLE step 1 the locations barter is ascending limb of loop of handle Gittelman's like thiazide which is DCT distal tubules so thank you I hope you subscribe for more